You're right on time, Leonardo. We're up with the sun. Are these all your people? All that's left. Bueno, you know the pact. Starting from today, we'll never have another battle over the territory north of the Sierra Santiago. This land will be yours. Live on it in peace. From Pueblo de San Antonio, 30 miles east, to the fortress of Hernandez. I'm here as a soldier of the Union to beat down the forces of slavery, and my job is to protect this pact. Gracias. Y viva tu gente in paz. Throw down your guns. We'll drink to peace. Dresses. <laughs> That does it. Something over there, Jeremy. It looks like it's moving, brother. I don't see anything. Over there. there. Yes, there is, Uncle Jeremy. It's a baby. Uh, Prince is yes, right. Yes. It's a little boy.
say. Hurry up! Excuse me, senores. Oh, back. Buenos dias. Father Jeremy. Bronze is limping on the left front hoof, and I thought we'd best... I mean, we better go. But what's happened? What is it? <laughs> Lay thee not up treasures in the earth, where moth and rust corrupt and thieves break through and steal. But lay thee up treasures in heaven, for where thy treasure is, there also will be thy heart. Your daughter will return, sister. Princey. She's gone. She's always been threatening to, and now she's done it. Indeed, moth and rust do corrupt. But, Princey, where did she go? I'm certain she went with that traveling company of stage players that went across the line into Missouri. Must have been two, three hours ago. My Princey! Where are you going, my son? I'm going to get her. Where? Missouri's a big place. And further south, you have to cross into Arkansas. And then, more land and cities and villages. It's dangerous. Your life could be finished before you get to the next town. I'll find her. I know it. Don't worry. My son, this is for you. It's the Old and New Testament. And remember that David, with a sling and a stone, did put down the great giant Goliath, the Philistine. Mysterious are the ways of the Lord. If he says go, you must. as soon as the stagecoach has been loaded. Be careful, huh? Buenos dias, senor. Would you give me a little information? All right. Where are you heading with this stagecoach? Believe it's my business, not yours. You better. <laughs> This is Stoop, and that's Jack Anderson. I'm sorry. I always thought they were working with the Price brothers. They should have been killed, too.
acquiescent in Pache, Amen. What did he say there? He mumbled something. Sounded like rescant or quescant. Requiescant, that's what he said. Let them rest in peace. That's Latin, you know. Well, I know that boy's the straightest shot I ever laid my eyes on. Springfield, is that what you said? Yes. Been on the road a long time, then? Long enough. I know the route you took. Done it many a time myself, and I hope I never set eyes on it again. Dangerous territory. I spent years there, almost half my life. The whole place is filled with bandits and murderers. <laughs> Look, Papa. What is it, son? He's got a pistol. Reckon he has. Nobody's gonna ride that road without a gun. Even one that shoots cannonballs won't protect you on the prairie. Requiescan, come outside! Unless you're afraid to face the price, brothers. That's right, boy, don't waste time. We've come a long way to kill you. Come on out, you yellow-bellied skunk! Better go out the back. On the other side. There he is. What do you want? Tell him. Oh! Poor fella. Why did he have to die? Pardon me and pardon them. Requiem eternum dona eis dominus plus perfectu lucet eis. Requiescant in pace. Amen. Amen. Bury them, por favor. Pardon me for putting you to so much trouble. And thanks for the meal. said we should bury the bodies, not the pistols.
think you could keep an eye on him? <laughs> Only be a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Mister, can I get something to eat? Sure. That's the girl over there. Miss, can I? Hey, where's those two whiskeys? Have you got a table for me? Uh, you can take that one over there. Howdy, Bert. What'll it be? Make mine a Everybody double. Know. Whiskey, you, that is. The same. Double or nothing, huh? Thanks. You still hanging around? My baby is dying, senores. You must come and look at her, doctor. You must. You're the only person who can save her life. I'm very busy at the moment. I'll say he's busy. <laughs> I'll wait then. Not around here. Away from the table. You're poisoning the air, pig. Now get out. Otherwise, you'll be needing some medicine and bandages too. Right, Doc? <laughs> I want to talk to the sheriff. To the sheriff? <laughs> I'm not going to leave this place till I've talked to the sheriff. Sheriff, I'll show you the sheriff. <clears throat> uh, apologize. Apologize to the gentleman. Uh. Get up. Get up. You know we let dogs in the saloon, but not when they start giving orders, right? Yeah? <laughs> now, you really want to see the sheriff? Show him the sheriff we elected for San Antonio. Take a look. There he is. Now get out. <laughs> Bring it down, stranger. No, San Antonio. Been here about an hour. It's a nice little town, mister. But there aren't any churches. That's why it's nice. Picture, eh? No. No, I guess you're not. Not with that Smith and Wesson. But you sure look like one, <laughs> that's for sure. You will like the town. You'd never become a preacher. Like the girls too much, don't you? Go on, Beth. I always bring you good luck, huh? No, uh, never mind. I've had too much of your kind of good luck today. That's my little gold mine. Very productive, top rate ore. Come here, sweetheart. Let's have one on the house, huh? <laughs> Just lay off, and I hope you choke, you old goat. Got much cash? For a small sum. You will find her just by using those stairs. At the top of the stairs, first door on the left. But it doesn't matter which door you open, because they all lead to gold mines anyhow. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Upstairs. Oh, no. You gotta pay first. Hey. No money, no upstairs. Understand? But he... That's right. That's how it's done. Here, you gotta pay first. Come on. All right, go ahead. After Topeka, Wichita, Little Rock, and Kansas City, we went to Austin again. That's where it all began. Dean Light practically won me in a game of poker one night. So, I'm his. Less important than his horse. Less looked after than his boots. But 
by Miss. Dean Light whistles, and I run and eat out of his hand. Come home, Princey. How? After this? Oh, please. Please look at me. Look at me well. Do you at least understand what you see? Do you? This is a prison. And if I tried to get out, Dean Light would hunt me down no matter where I am. You gotta listen, Princey. I wanna help you. I'm gonna take you away from here. And you'll never be alone anymore, Princey. I promise. What do you want to do? Well, there must be some other way than force. The law. Yes, the law. Every man is born free, Princey. <laughs> born free. <laughs> Princey, got changed for a ten spot. The guys from Texas. And Texans don't leave tips, you know. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, I must admit, I don't think much of your tailor. But you must be someone. They let you through with your gun on you. See you later. Lovely. Not much different than me. Anyhow, we were talking about the law. <laughs> the law in San Antonio has only one name. Ferguson. George Bello Ferguson. He is the boss. The boss of everything there is. I came here to help you, Princey. No one's gonna hurt you anymore. I mean that. I'll speak to Ferguson. I'm sure he'll listen to me. The death of Lincoln could have been a godsend to the Confederate cause, even though the outcome of the war was already quite evident. I maintained it then, gentlemen. You're putting a time limit on my discourse, Harriman? You know, I was present at Appomattox the day that Lee met Grant to discuss the terms of the surrender. And I'll never forget the pride of that Southern general on that day. He was wearing full dress. His boots were shined so that you could see your face in them. What dignity he had. I will never forget what that taught me. In aristocracy, there is strength. You only had to see those two side by side, that southern aristocrat and that northern democrat. Understand what I mean? Actually, that was his last official act. Oh, well, you're very wrong, Babcock. The Old South has much to say yet. Much. I'm still sure it's a wise thing they did, doing away with slavery. Don't talk to me about the abolition of slavery, that poor pretext used by the Northern capitalists to subjugate and destroy the South. They talk about economic advantage, but which of us really has it? The Southerner, who must first buy his slave, then in addition must feed, clothe, and shelter him for the rest of his life? Or the Northerner, who pays his laborers? but so damned little that he keeps them in a perpetual state of need and starvation. But happiness and liberty are basic human requirements, and the people's desire for them cannot be suppressed forever. Sam. Yes, sir. Come here. Sir. Sam. Supposing you had the choice of being a completely free man, working, worrying about where your family's next meal was coming from, or a slave who always knows his master will look after you all no matter what. Which would you choose? To be your slave. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sam. But don't let that discourage you, Dave. 
You keep using that word liberty in your speeches, because the voters like to hear it. Because I'm determined you'll be our next senator at any cost. I mean, the war's been over for ten years. Mm, everything's dead and buried. Well, not everything is buried, but it amounts to the same thing. Right, Ferguson? That is not funny, Babcock. You're out of order. You understand what I mean? for bread. You look like you could use it. Pity to waste good bread. More of a pity to waste good bullets. What are you looking for around here? Mr. Ferguson won't like it. On top of that, he won't like your face much. He'll think it's just a little too dark. It's my face, senor. Oh, that's what it is, huh? You're a Mexican. Make any difference? I'm asking the questions. What are you looking for? Senor Ferguson. <laughs> George Bello Ferguson? The boss? My brother. You what? Sorry to disturb you. Your brother's outside. Excuse me, gentlemen, but something rather interesting has taken place. Do you recall my having a brother, Edith? No. No. Well, then, let's go see who this unknown brother might be. Help yourselves to the brandy, gentlemen. I understand you're supposed to be my brother. That's not exactly a compliment to the memory of Jefferson Lucius Ferguson, my father. Or should I say, uh, our father. Shall I throw him out, boss? Brothers in the Lord, I meant. It's very important that I speak to you when there was no other way. Oh. You bring the Lord into it, you're kind of making my religious duty to hear you out. Is that the idea? All right, son, what's on your mind? You see, Princey wants to leave, and she's not allowed out. And since you... Now, wait, 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 wait. Well, hold on a second. Who is Princey? She's kept in the saloon upstairs along with all the other girls, and she's forced to... I... I think they call it forced prostitution. Mr. Ferguson, Princey's like a sister to me. She has a right to be free. That's what I ask. Just what is this story, Dean Light? I hope it isn't the same thing that happened in Laredo. You know how I feel about mixing women and work. Yes, boss. Well, now, you let this girl go. And I mean right away. Here? Right. Dean Light? 
It's your own good I'm thinking about, you know. Well, brother, your prince is a free girl now. Happy? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Fancy way to carry a gun. Yes, it always surprises me, too. Uh, you know how to use it? I've been forced to a couple of times. It wasn't ever my fault. You must be pretty good at it, considering you're still alive. Well, you signing up another hand, Ferguson? Maybe. There are never enough good guns, Babcock. If they prove to be good, it seems like even schoolboys are being treated like grown men these days. Brother, these gentlemen are doubting your ability. So here's what I'm going to do. Propose a contest. Shooting and drinking contest. You know what that is? No. Well, you'll find out. It's an excellent yardstick to measure the true ability of a sharpshooter. Uh, that's great shot. That's the way it's done. You're up, brother. Don't you think 15 paces is a little too much, Ferguson? No. Now hold on there a second, brother. Before you're allowed to shoot, you gotta empty your glass. Another three paces. Hey, that wine's too good to waste. Give me some. And that's 43. Now we'll see which one of us is a man, huh? Brother. Well, now that just leaves the two of us, eh, boy? Come on, drink up, drink up. But that's too far away. I, I mean. Too much danger of hitting the girl. Fire! She gets a bullet. <laughs> Means you've lost. Don't worry. Even if you shoot off two fingers, you'll still have enough left to scratch with. Two fingers. <laughs> Were you such a mouse, damn it? <laughs> 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 Why don't you make the game a little easier? You're better with one of these, ah! <laughs> He's too good. You can't beat him. You can't beat him. You think that was good, huh? Well, I'll show you. I will not be beaten. I'm an aristocrat. You understand? An aristocrat. You just lie there and wait your turn for it. Stop it! You're 
torturing her. It's inhuman. Stop it. Stay out of this, woman. No more shooting. Someone is going to be killed. No. You slut. You shut your mouth, hear me? No. No, go away. Come here, no. damn you. Leave me alone. Come here. White trash. I won't come near you, no. Shut up, you. Shut up that I dirty mouth. I George. You're a monster, a murderer. When I get my hands on you. Do you hear what I say? You're a murderer. I'll kill you, I swear it. No. I know you, George Bellow Ferguson. Come here. No. Come here. Leave me alone. You'll never torment me again. Find someone else. Get out. Get out of here. No! No, I hate you! You kill her! Sam! Let's get this trash out of here! Fine show you put on, Edith. Did you have fun? Now let me tell you something. The next time you get it into your sick head to do something like this, I'm gonna kill you. And if you think I'm kidding, you just remember your father. He thought I was a great kidder, too. He was wrong. You know, there's nothing. There's nothing in the good book against wine. Father Jeremy would have told me. Oh, 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 oh. Listen. I'm going to read you the good word. And Noah began to be an husbandman. He planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine. He was drunk. You see? That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing against wine. What I tell you, not a word. Put another couple of slugs in him, Jack. I don't trust that preacher. He might still have it.
Ako je skončiť páči. Amen. Amen. Amigo, please bury them. Don't be nervous. It won't help you. Ah, you still haven't told me who that fella is. A cowboy? Mm, nope. He's never seen a roundup. He's no preacher either. I told you he's a friend. Probably the best friend I have ever had. Ah, I know. He's one of those intellectuals. I ran into a lot of them. You'd be surprised. I was working at... Morena's, near that big cotton plantation. Get out. Are you deaf or something? Get out! Ooh! You thinking of going someplace? Hmm. I'd be interested to know where. Oh, yes, of course. I must have forgotten your friend. Hope it won't bother you very much, little girl. Fact is, I brought you some pretty unpleasant news. You won't see him again. So forget him, Pigeon. skin were engines. This experience is going to be fun. <laughs> What's the matter? You didn't really think I was going to hurt you, my little source of revenue? No. No! Please, no! You're prettier when you're not crying. Have one of these. No, please! No! No! Swallow it. Swallow it. Make it go down your throat. Go on. Swallow it. Ferguson said not to. Good evening. Take care of everything. Yeah.
quick. Two beers. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Birch, leave him alone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where are we going? They're a bunch of idiots. You were with him alone in the desert. How did you manage to lose him? Who are you? Gracias, amigo. So this is your hideout. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know your name, but that doesn't really matter. I'll call you Amigo. Ah, ah. Look, this Dean Light is a petticoat. And these here are net stockings. And here's a pair of cheap lace bloomers. Frills and furbelows. All garments designed to confuse the minds of men. Weak men. And you are weak. And because you're weak, I've lost three of my best men. But how could I have imagined that Jack can kill her? You against couldn't one imagine of... anything. Because all you could think about was losing one of your little whores. Well, now you're gonna lose all of them. Open up in there. It's closed for a reason. Now there's no more reason. What's happening? What's happened is that George Bella Ferguson has had enough. Now get out. Oh, oh you. Oh, and that means oh, you too. Oh, As of now, your work here is finished. I want every one of you out of here within 24 hours. But Mr. Ferguson. Did you mean me too? Hmm? When you said we have to leave San Antonio. No, I didn't mean you. You're a good boy, and I know you've been faithful to me. You know I wasn't trying to disobey you. I just wanted to have a little fun for myself. Nothing wrong with that, is there, boss? Dean, you're a bright boy. Let me give you a piece of advice. Forget about women. They don't let a man think. And a man has to. He must be able to build, create and not be distracted by inferior beings. Tom, two whiskeys. Yes, inferior beings. Because they're morons, animals, whose main purpose is to reproduce. That's why I married Edith. To have an heir. But my wife couldn't even fulfill that function. Well, here's to you. You know, Dean, you and I have been friends for a long time now. 
You just do as I say, and one day everything here will be yours. I'm not as good looking as I used to be, am I? <clears throat> About that boy, he's been a problem for us. So I figured something out that's gonna let us get rid of him without losing any more men. The scar. <laughs> Something I always had. Yeah, see? Some sort of an accident when I was a kid. But why are you looking at me like that? You did the same thing the other day in the village. But what are you trying to tell me? Ah, the two of us will take care of it. They come after us. Just what is it that you're after? What are you looking for? Will you please tell me? It's a gift for me. Leonardo Marquez, Tierra e Libertad. This for me too? Leonardo Marquez, Tierra e Libertad. Well, who's Leonardo Marquez? Mexico. Uh, uh, I'm Mexican. Uh, uh, and who's Marcus? Uh, 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 huh, I'm not a Mexican.
me here in Princey's room when she went away yesterday in such a hurry. Somebody has to know where she is. Listen, I've already told you, mister. No one's seen her since last night. Will you He's two right. try and explain right. to him? No one's seen Princey all day long. Where are you going? Princey! Ah! I tell you, she's not here. Princey! What's going no, on out there? Boy, she's what not here. She's not ah! here, I keep telling you. Cut that out. I'm getting kind of riled up. This has cost me two dollars, and I'm not getting anything out of it. Shut up, you. Listen to me. I don't know what you intend to do with that pistol, but I wouldn't want to see anyone make you eat it. It's a miracle that you're still alive. Listen to Martha. Come on out! There's Dean Light with all his little boys. He murdered the girl. Just found her. Where is Princey? <coughs> Where's Princey? Stop it! That's him, Judge. In my opinion, the submitted evidence is ample. Hurry up, Judge. Mr. Ferguson's in a hurry. This court finds a prisoner guilty as charged and sentences him to be hanged. Well, that's that. I have an appointment in the radio tomorrow morning. I guess I better be going. Bye, Mr. Ferguson. Massacred my people, and now you men are going to hang me for a crime that you committed. What would you do without them? So kill me like you killed my father at Fort Hernandez if you want to shut me up. All right, string him up. Just a moment. What are you talking about? You know what I mean. Who are you? What's your name? Requiescant. It means, rest in peace. Hey, boss, ain't this a hanging party? But he's a killer! He murdered the girl! 
Dean Light. Would you like to find yourself in the middle of a Mexican revolution? With our heads as the target? Well, that's what'll happen if that boy's talked to the wrong people. So don't you think it's better if we found out? Bring him to the ranch. Another one. Will you start talking? Well, that makes the fourth time he's passed out. Well, I'd say it's a matter of time. Gentlemen, I'm hungry. I suggest we all go get something to eat. I think we can leave our young friend here. Holman, you stay guard and I'll send you something up from the kitchen. Thanks, Mr. Ferguson. You! What's that for? I'm taking food to the workers. Wait a minute. Let me take a look. You're bringing in pretty good food. You must have stolen. Boss is French wine. Looks like I caught you, eh? But I think we can make a deal. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hurry. is in God's hands, and what is written shall happen. Here's your gun. And don't forget, Dean Light is only a gun my husband makes use of. George Ferguson was the one who ordered the extermination of all the Mexicans in this territory. The territory belonged to you, to Leonardo, to all the men of the Pueblo. It's all written here on the parchment. Thank you. I won't forget. Buena suerte. Senora. Why are you doing this for me? Because when Ferguson killed your parents, he murdered mine too. And if I let him kill you, it'd be like killing a brother of mine. Adios. Adios.
I always told you that night air was bad for your health, Edith. admired in you was your great dignity. Don't disappoint me in death. She died well, Dean. It was a beautiful moment for her. Felipe, all of you, let him go. Hallelujah. Jubilate Deo quia Dominus bonus est, et misericordiam suam jubilate et exultate omnis terra. Yes, it is the same. Our old friend was right. Who are you? This is Elder Blado, Manuel, Felipe, Alonso, El Nino, Pilar, and I am Juan. We were with your father at the Battle of the Sierra, Lenatore Leon, all in his brigade under General Villa. My father. He was a true man, eh, muchachos? Uh, yes, he, he was. was a man. Governor Cameras put a great price of many pesos on your father's head. And when they brought him news of this, do you know what he said? That's too many pesos for just one head. And went on with his meal. What do you want from me, Juan? I guess you must think I'm only some sort of peon. I'm a priest. Your father fought for liberty like a wild animal, and so do all of these men. I guide them, but not in the way a pastor protects his flock. Each village under the Marcus Treaty, that is, even San Antonio, is ours. We want to live in peace with the Americanos. Peace forever. But if we have to fight for that peace, we'll destroy ourselves. What plans do you have? Only to free ourselves. And this book will bring us freedom. Word gets around in the mountains. They say you're a good man with a six-gun. Even if... Nobody would know it to look at you. Ferguson must die. And whoever is with him must die. God provides forces for good as well as evil. We need guns and men who are not afraid that they might have to die. We have been denied justice, so we will make our justice. What will happen? The best crops, the pueblos, the prize cows and bulls will change masters. And the new masters will just have new slaves. Ideas, not cattle, are the most important things that have to be changed. But justice is only in the heart of the man who is just. You all know this, amigos. And he whose heart is empty, his ideas stay the same forever. I know. And what you must do, you must do alone. But we will always be near you, even when you don't expect it. And a hundred dollars on top of that. Yeah. And another hundred. Just to make it interesting. There's three little ladies, Bert. Three aces. 
Your hand don't bother you for picking up the cash. He pulls triggers, picks up glasses and bottles, then handles my money. Here, honey, this is for you. Maybe I'll buy your boyfriend, huh? You could afford two or three or four the way the card's been falling for you. Meaning what, Klein? You understood all right. Will you both shut up and get on with the game? It's your deal. Let's go. Well, I don't like it anyway. What don't you like? I don't like playing with your cards. Just deal the cards, will you? Who opens? Me. Twenty dollars. I see you. I'm in. Oh. Buenas tardes. Les gusta un poquito de música, señores. All right, all right. Amigos. I don't know anything with some life in it. I've had enough of that funeral, Mark. Gracias, senor. Gracias. every day since the Mexican went and skipped the town. Give me another bottle of tequila, but good stuff this time. Huh? <laughs> this one's the finest in the world. It had better be. Oh. <laughs> there you are, lad. <laughs> louder, louder! <laughs> what is this stuff? I said I wanted tequila. You go on playing. I don't want to kill you. I play a different game. A little game called Hangman's Noose. song.
In about two more minutes, it'll be midnight. I didn't say this was a joke. I said a game. First, you have to climb up on your stool, put your head in the hangman's noose, and shoot my stool out from under me. We fire at the first stroke of midnight. You gotta have steady nerves and a strong heart. You about ready to try? You're out of your mind, you know. No, I'm not mad. So, you want to try it? Fine. Let's get at it. Up we go. The fact is, a coward might be tempted to fire before the stroke of midnight. But it would never enter your head to pull anything like that. I bet you like this. It's the sort of game that would appeal to you. Keep your mouth shut, you. Just hold on. It says in the scriptures, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. It's not very likely, but may they rest in peace. Requiescant in pace.
Are there many of you? No. There used to be a great many of us. Now there are very few left. But soon our number will grow again. And Juan, the priest. Ah, there is a man. His parents were peones, but he didn't want to be. When he was a little boy, he went off to be a servant in a rich man's house. The rich man sent him to school. Then he came back and taught us to fight. He does not use a gun. He does not want to use a gun. Mr. Ferguson. And no one's ever going to be able to find the pieces. That boy gave us a rough time. He killed two men and wounded half an army. It's lucky the Mexicans haven't got any more men that good with a 44 caliber. <laughs> you should have seen the other night when Dean Light saw him coming fast. Shut up, Klein. I will not permit you to talk that way about Dean Light. He was... A good man.
Paquita! Romero! Where the devil have they all disappeared to? Just wait till I... Hey, Lope. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Come back here. The place needs cleaning. It's almost six. Vincente! Lola! Pablo! What is it? What's going on? What is it? What's going on? All the Mexican servants have gone. The master's awful mad. Go see what you can do, Tony, will you? Here they are! <laughs> Ah, qué niño hermoso! What a beautiful child! <laughs> qué lindo! Mm. He, he, Don Juan, the best looking one of the whole band. <laughs> baptize him, baptize him, Don Juan! Do not laugh, niño. Please, for war is evil. Pray that it may not curse our home. <laughs> 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 I'm willing to wait it out, Ferguson. But in Laredo, not here, thank you. I had three servants in my house, Mexicans and three rifles. Disappeared, the six of them. No, no, I don't care for this business at all. And it doesn't appeal much to me. You can understand that, can't you, Ferguson? So you don't like it, do you? Well, you want to know what it is that I don't like? That among all of you, there doesn't exist one ounce of that rather special virtue called honor. To think that I helped out vermin like you. Remember when you were deep in debt, Babcock? And you came to me begging for help? Well, who was it who honored those debts? George Bello Ferguson, that's who. And you, Robeson. Dr. Robeson. Honored member of the medical profession. But only because the lawyers of George Bello Ferguson got you acquitted when you were about to be hung by your scrawny neck. For murder. And you, Judge Harriman, your honor, would you be quite so honorable if one George Bellow Ferguson hadn't pulled you out of the gutters of Austin when you were a hopeless, stinking alcoholic? Oh, yes. Honorable men today, all of you. Because your friend's name is George Bellow Ferguson. But your honor is only an escutcheon, while mine is a way of life. You all make me want to vomit. We all know what you've done for us. But you see, someone, I mean the governor or Washington. You're right. If the true story of the massacre ever comes out, we're finished. I said we, because we're all, every one of us, in the same boat. I see it a bit differently, Ferguson. Giving us a little illegal help now and then isn't exactly the same thing as destroying the population of a city. Or occupying lands that have never legally been sold. I'm giving you ten seconds to get out of here. And if you ever come back, I'll kill you. I said get out! Out! Out, damn you! George Bella Ferguson never needed anybody! You hear me? Anybody! Mr. Ferguson, the Mexicans are all gathered at the fortress.
this. What do you all think you're doing here? Now listen, you are all good people. So why do you want to listen to the advice of bad people who only want to bring you trouble and misery? Don't listen to these troublemakers. You let George Bella Ferguson take care of them for you. You all on home now, hear me? Tell me, who is your leader? No one commands here. This land is our land. Before we can cultivate it, senor, we must bury the bones of our dead. Your land. Yours. You don't have anything that's yours. Not even the shirts on your back. I gave you everything. But Ferguson giveth, and Ferguson taketh away. You understand the meaning of that phrase? I'll give you exactly one minute to return to work. Klein, shoot to kill. I don't advise it. It could be dangerous. Here I am, Ferguson. I've been waiting for you. You. I don't know what hell has vomited you forth, but you've arrived at an inopportune time. Klein, shoot him dead. Hold your fire. If any one of you makes the mistake of firing one bullet, it's death for all of you. you, Ferguson, my mother, my father, Princey, and my people, they all want you and want the liberty you've taken away from them. You know what a monkey is? A monkey is something that makes you laugh. And you all are like monkeys, going around spewing the word liberty. And that makes me laugh. Liberty! For you, liberty's only a small piece of earth where you can sit in the sun and rot. And that's all. You don't develop. You don't build. You don't create. But still you want liberty. And what would you do if you got it? You'd defile it. You'd go around like barbarians, destroying what the George Bella Fergusons of this world have worked centuries to create. You are the dregs of the earth. You have no more rights than animals have. You are born servants and you'll die servants, still spewing forth the word liberty without knowing what it means. So prepare yourself for death, Ferguson. You're judged and condemned. I will not be judged by you. A gentleman can only be judged by his peers. Or by himself. Let me die as a gentleman should. Gentlemen die like other men. 
Requies can't. Don't dishearten me in death. Let me die by my own hand. Let me die with dignity. not terrible because of the evil men who are murdered, but because of the good men, because war murders pity. It pleased you to kill Ferguson, didn't it? You had fun like a little boy with a fly. Don't forget, Ferguson was not an enemy of yours, but an enemy of ours. It was not your land he robbed, but ours. Unfortunately, we need men like you. You're the most expert killer of us all. For that reason, I and my men are begging you to become the commander of this band. And I pray the Lord that you be willing to accept, uniting with other bands like ours, battling, crusading, so that our poor people will have the justice and liberty they have been denied. Adios, Nino. Adios, Pilar. Adios. Adios. Adios, requiescant y buena suerte. Adios. Adios. con Dios. Adios. Adios.